Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you have a great and wonderful day. Well, we have a racist person here. Yeah, that's right. We have a person that has done a hoax on the whole Jesse Smollett step of deal. Like, he, he is literally the next Jesse Smollett level, except he's Indian, and, uh, yeah, he, he's, he's lying about, you know, racism being in this country. Of course, this is the part of the course for the Democratic Party, because... They have to have it on life support. It's the only way they can keep it alive. And this man is trying very desperately to keep it alive. Take a look. In the last hour about the charges against the challenger running for Fort Bend County Precinct 3 Commissioner. Yeah, he is accused of creating a fake social media account to post racist comments directed at himself. ABC 13's Rosie Wynn joins us live from the Fort Bend County Jail with new information, Rosie. Gina, the Fort Bend County District Clerk just made those charging documents for Thurl Patel available to the public. More than 20 pages that we have spent the last hour sifting through and the allegations are alarming. Here is what we know so far. Back in October, the DA's office received a request from Precinct 3 Commissioner Andy Meyer to look into who was behind several social media posts directed at his opponent, which is Patel. This came after Patel sent out a press release with a collage of supposed racist social media posts that he claimed were directed at him. Meyer told investigators he recognized one of the accounts behind the comments as Antonio Scallywag. The documents then further detailed how they linked that account back to Patel, including getting a subpoena from Facebook and Google. From there, they were able to obtain account and payment information matching Patel's credit card number, address, phone number, and other personal data. Patel now faces a third-degree felony of online impersonation and class A misdemeanor for misrepresentation of identity. The DA's office tells us this is the first time that they've charged someone with that specific election-related misdemeanor. You know, it's a crazy world when you are going down and just minding your own business and you find out that there was a guy that uh, decided to do a race hoax yet again. It really goes to show that when it comes down to racism or any of the sort, uh, it always seems to be a Democrat. And when it is a Democrat, it's mostly 80 to 90 percent false. Because, of course, um, they have to make it up. Because that's the only way they can actually justify or understand that there is racism in this country. And what we have here is that uh, Texas Dem poll, uh, an ex-Biden appointee arrested for allegedly posting fake racist social comments about himself. Yeah, that's right. He is an ex Biden appointee. Let that sink in. It really just goes to show that, again, anybody that's associated with Biden, anybody that's associated with the Democratic Party has to be some type of racist apologist or makes up a racism claim. It's really quite insane, really, on how these things keep on happening, and it's always from the Democratic Party. Now, I'm not... I'm not saying that the that uh, that the Republicans are innocent, right? I'm not saying that they're not that they cannot be racist. I'm not saying that they are not incapable of being racist. But what I am saying is is that a lot of these people that are claiming racism are from the Democratic Party. I'm going to tell you, be honest. My racism has nothing to do with you know <laughs> um, with with people, right? In particular, right? Because I I, I haven't really experienced. And a huge amount of racism. Now, I go party been new. I am so anti-racist, and I think I said this in the video before. I'm so anti-racist that uh, I don't know what racism is, racism really is, or I, because I always see somebody saying something mean or bad to me specifically. I always think of it as like, okay, they're either mentally unwell or they're just being a dick. That's pretty much it. That's where it comes from, and that's where I don't even I only attribute it to racism because I just think this person is just a terrible person, and just go away. That's where I attribute it from. But there's more to this story. Apparently, he's done it a few times here, or at least once, and he was arrested. He was actually arrested for this, and uh, as he should be, the story thickens. Let's get to it. 
that immigrants are coming to take people's jobs or things of that nature. And I try to remind folks is I'm not running against anybody. I'm running for the people, all the people of Precinct 3, whether they like me or not. My goal is to better their lives. But unfortunately, what we hear from a kind of polarized environment is it doesn't matter what my policies are. They're coming after my race, my religion, my nationality, which is American. Uh, but, you know, I've been called Indian, Pakistani, so many different things that are not even accurate. I want to interject here real quick. Um, you know, normally when you go and look at people that are of a different race or similar to a race, same thing with you come down to, I guess you could say, Asians. Sure, Asians might be able to tell the difference between each other, but if you come out to anybody else that just looks at an Asian person, they're going to think, oh, well, they're going to assume like, oh, you're Japanese, oh, you're Korean, or they just don't know, they can't tell the difference. It's the same thing as with any other race. I don't think you can really go look at a black person and go tell be able to be able to tell them the, the difference between if they're African or if they're Nigerian. Uh, I, it's very difficult. In fact, I can't even do that. So I don't know what he's going on with this, like saying like, oh well, I'm Pakistani and I'm Indian or whatever. We can't tell. Nobody can't tell. If they mistake it, it's whatever. It's not racism, dude. I don't know where you're getting this from. This is what I'm getting at. These people have to come up with some type of weird thing that's like, whatever it is, is racism when it's just clearly not. They just don't know. There's nothing wrong with not knowing. Just clarify and it's all good. Uh, Jesus. Um, but our goal is to respond back with love. That was Terrell Patel on The Factor last year, when he claimed he was a victim of racism in the political race for county commissioner. Our sources say his arrest is related to the allegations he made in the interview and in others, where he claimed people were sending him hate messages online and through social media. Our high-level source tells The Factor, the Texas Rangers are investigating if those claims of hate and racism were totally made up by Patel, who is still running as Democrat for the seat. He is charged with online impersonation, a felony, and a misdemeanor charge of misrepresentation of identity. So Charles, when we take a look at the allegations and the criminal charges against Mr. Patel, your thoughts on what this is all about? Well, I'm hearing some whispers that this is about him allegedly creating fake identities to then make hateful comments towards him so that he can seek media attention. Now, I don't know if this is true, but if it is true, right, this is a very appropriate prosecution. They are trying, they are filing a misrepresentation of identity, which is a class A misdemeanor, and an online impersonation charge, which is a third degree felony up to 10 years in prison, both found not in the penal code, but in the election code. And it's designed to prevent people from interfering with the outcomes of elections by misinformation. So when you have an individual who totally makes something up to win an election, they go after you this way, the state rangers. Well, it can be the Texas Rangers. I mean, there's a number of people that can investigate. It's most appropriately with the Rangers, which of course are our most elite investigative. You know, many states have their state version of the FBI, mm -hmm. and they call them the Bureau of Investigations. We call them the Texas Rangers here. They are the ones that investigate these type of crimes. And it's important to protect the integrity of our elections. We know Mr. Patel did a media blitz, including on your show, where he talked about the horrors of the racist comments being directed by at him by Fort Bend County Republicans. Mm -hmm. If it's true, that's horrifying, and it should help them. But if they were contrived, if they were make-believe, most importantly, if they were contrived and make-believe by him, and he contrived them merely to help him win an election, well, we can't tolerate that. I find it absolutely hilarious, right, that this guy that is saying the Republicans are the racist ones, the Republicans are the ones that did this or did that, and in all reality, it was him that was dividing the country. It was him creating a racist hoax. It was him that got arrested for making up false racist things and going after a, a political party saying he did this when that didn't actually happen. That's the insane part. Again, these Democrats are always trying to tug at your heartstrings, trying to play with your emotions, because that's the only way they can possibly get your vote. 
don't play their game. There's, this is not the way it's supposed to be. Like, guys, the racism is nowhere near as bad as it was back in the 60s. Uh, of, well, let's go back even further, right? The 40s, the 50s, the 60s. Even if we want to go with the 70s, right? It's nowhere near as bad as those in a uh, part of those decades. Now it's significantly better, and as I has always said before, it's on life support. They have to keep on making this racist thing a uh, a false reality because, of course, they can't come up with actual any right, true racism. If anything, they'll find racism on the uh, black people side than anything else. It's actually quite crazy. And when you make allegations like this, it is disparaging against the other party as well, right? Right. right. It's not just disparaging uh, against the other party, but that is the or goal. Or some fictional is, person right. out there. Well, it is the goal is to make him more attractive to the electorate and to demean his opponent and his opponent's uh, supporters, which is appropriate if it's true. But think about the real context of this. If he, made, if this was a hoax racism, if he went on your show, sat down and looked you in the eyes, uh, eyes Isaiah, and lied to you, you, mm -hmm. Right, and created more racial strife in a country consumed by identity politics right now. That's a horrible disservice. But if he did it with the intent of trying to beat his opponent in an election with lies, falsehoods, while while decrying the evils of the Republicans, well, that's just horrible, and it, can, it needs to be prosecuted. And I applaud the Rangers for doing such an effective job getting to the the, the, the truth. It really is a sad day for uh, for the Democrats. It, they just had to keep on taking L after L, and they had to keep on trying to keep Larry Sim alive, and it's just not working. And, guys, I, I just don't know what else to tell you, man. That when we deal with racism, we have to actually deal with it accordingly. The word racist, or even the N-word in particular, is losing all its power, which I think the N-word losing its power is probably a good thing. Um, because it's not controlling people anymore. But the, the actual term racist doesn't have any power anymore. Because anything can be bloody racist at this point, And we just don't know how to see it. And then when racism really comes, people are just going to shy away from it. Because we use racism so often when, things, when it should never have been used in the first place. Again, this is just something that the Democrats do. They have to make up something a uh, uh, lie. Lie. Justice Sumilet, uh this guy here and a few other Democrats have just been doing this type of uh, charade here, a charade, and it's just getting tiring. It's all very tiring. Everything is just completely tiring. And I, for one, just wanted to end. But, of course, this is just me exposing again the Democrats of what they've been doing for many decades now. And uh, it's a good thing there was actual justice happening, which is surprising in this country nowadays. So, uh, yeah. Alright guys, that's it for the video. So like, subscribe, share. As always, take care my friends. I'm disgusted by what I see in public. Even people closest to us can't be trusted. Cause it's algorithmic disease, the social media.